Hola amigos, welcome back to the channel, and yes, I know it's been a long time since I recorded a YouTube video, so hey, I'm back guys, I know it's been a couple of months actually, it's been since January, <laughs> the last video I did was the ECW Hardcore Revolution roster, so um, in this video we're going to take a look at the Mega Man X collection for PS2 and the Mega Man X Legacy collection for PS4. And the differences between each collection. So yeah. I just finished watching WrestleMania 38. Night 2. I watched both Night 1 and Night 2. I was happy that Stone Cold came back and wrestled. I was so happy that Stone Cold came back and competed for the first time in 19 years. He looked really good. H however, the whole, you know, the whole Roman Reigns thing with the Universal Champion and winning the WWE Championship. He beat Brock Lesnar tonight. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's to be expected. I mean, I guess Brock, you know, he, I don't know what he's going to do now, but Brock Lesnar is a part-timer, so I didn't see him, I, I didn't see him winning, to be honest, you know, to be, to be realistic here, you know, Brock, it made no sense for him to win, you know, so it makes sense for Roman, even though I'm not a big fan of Roman Reigns, I'm not a big fan of the whole Tribal Chief stuff, but, you know, he is the top guy in WWE right now as we speak, so I must embrace that, I guess, but, you know... I'm just curious to see who's going to beat him for the titles. But anyway, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, WrestleMania ended the way it ended. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not pissed off. You know, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> anyway, so let's do this. So we're going to take a look at the Mega Man X collection for PS2, as well as the Mega Man X Legacy collection for PS4, and go over the differences between each collection and, you know, what's pretty much what to look for and what's different between each collection. So... Starting off, first off, we're going to take a look at the Mega Man X collection for the PS2. This came out back in 2006 for the PS2 and the GameCube. However, the GameCube collection is ridiculously expensive, so <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. But anyway, this is the PS2 rendition, and it features Mega Man X1 through X6. As well as a bonus game, Mega Man X, um, not Mega Man X. <laughs> the bonus game is Mega Man Battle and Chase. So, yeah, that's a racing game in case you're not aware. So, um, in order to unlock that game, you have to beat Mega Man X1, X2, and X3. So, let's take a look at the back. Um, it says right here on the back, uh... The ultimate collection of Mega Man X Adventures. And this is right here. Seven, seven games on one. On one? So the seven games, of course, Mega Man X1 through X6. But then, of course, like I mentioned earlier, you unlock Mega Man Battle and Chase. And... Um, uh, I think Mega Man Battle and Chase was a Japanese exclusive game, if I'm not mistaken. Please let me know in the comments. And oh, by the way, I wanted to send a shout out to my best friend, my compadre, mi hermano, Brian X64. Great fan of the show, great supporter of mine. Love you, Vato. You know you're the best, man. You're a great guy. So, um, there you see. Pretty cool. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really glad I bought this. I actually bought me a PS2 Slim a while back, back in February. So that's how that's how I was able to play this. So there's the PS2 Mega Man X collection, and like I said, it was released for the uh, the GameCube as well. But I bought the PS2 version because I'm a PlayStation nerd, if you will. See, it's rated E for everyone. There's the Capcom logo right there, and I must say I, I really like the cover art of this game. It's really amazing. And uh, this is PS2, PlayStation 2. So uh, if you're a big Mega Man X fan, uh, I'm the biggest Mega Man X fan you guys will find. And I love this series to death. Uh, well, Mega Man X7 and X8 can straight up suck it. So <laughs> anyway, so this features the first six Mega Man X games. And of course, you get the bonus game, Mega Man Battle and Chase. So, I, have, I I play that game. It's actually pretty fun, but, you know, I'm not really, you know, a big fan of, like... I like racing games, but I'm not a really big fan of, like, you know, having to play them, you know, 
for an extended period of time. You know, I, I'm really used to Mega Man being the platformer, you know, that he is, you know. So to have him in a racing game is a little bit out of the ordinary, if you will. But, you know, it's pretty cool that they added this collection. Or it's pretty cool that they added Mega Man Battle and Chase as a part of this collection. You have to unlock it by beating Mega Man X1, X2, and X3, but be that, be that as it may. So, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right. All right, next up we have the... Mega Man X Legacy Collection for the PS4. Now, I've reviewed this uh, a couple of times here on the channel. Actually, I think I reviewed it once when I did the the Legacy Collection review back, I think it was a year ago when I did that review. You got Mega Man X front and center. There's zero right there. Now, this game features all of the eight X games in this installment. So, oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that... Mega Man X3, hang on. Mega Man X3 on this collection is the PS1 version. So the PS1 the PS1 version of X3 is on this collection. Uh, of course, I'm not a big fan of that version because of course the music is just shitty and of course the Mavericks Mega, uh, Mega Man X3 is known for, you know, the awesome Maverick names and you know just the awesome music, but the PS1 version kind of ruined that to me. And, of course, they, they misspell the word Blizzard. So, it's, instead of Blizzard Buffalo, you get Bilzard Buffalo. Bilzard Buffalo. <laughs> it's funny. When I saw that, I left my ass off. But, yeah, Bilzard Buffalo. Not Blizzard Buffalo. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to play X3 on this collection, you're going to get the PS1 version, which is kind of shitty. Especially with the music. Uh, and especially when Mega Man X, when he gets hit, there's no sound. Unless there is, and it's just very faint. I don't know. I mean... Thankfully, in the Super Nintendo version, if you get hit, there's a sound effect that goes with it. But in the PS1 version of X3, non-existent. At least, I don't know if there is a sound and it's just too low and it's very faint. I don't know. But um, anyway. But thankfully, for the Legacy Collection, you get the uh, Super Nintendo version of X3, which I love to death. I love the music in X3 and the Super Nintendo. And... Um, of course, you get the ability to play as Zero, even though it's very limited, because Zero, you know, he's not a fully playable character in X3, but he is fun to play with, and he has that ever-so-lovable Z-Saber, ready T for teen. So, um, and of course, with this collection, you get a lot more. I mean, you get a lot of good features. You get the, uh, the X-Challenge mode, which lets you fight two Mavericks at once. You get the uh, photo gallery, which allows you to view every Maverick, every character in the game. Plus, you get a look at the uh, merchandise, the X figures and all that stuff. So, this collection offers a lot more. And don't get me wrong, I still love the PS2 version of the uh, X collection. But I think this one offers a lot more for for the player. You know, you get to get a lot more cool stuff with the, uh, the Legacy collection for the PS4. So, take a look at the back of the collection. Uh, of course, it says, The Ultimate Mega Man X Collection. Of course, you got screenshots of each game, and I, I feel like this collection is a lot better, and of course, I'm not trying to bash the PS2 collection, because I love the PS2 collection, well, other than X3 on the super, on the, on the PS1, but anyway, but um, I think, um, thankfully, this game offers a difficulty selection for each game, like you have Rookie Hunter mode, which allows you to take little to no damage, especially if you're, if you're playing X1. You do get damage, but not very much. And X2 and X3, you know, those the, the enemies in those games don't hurt you. Actually, some of the, if they're like big ass robots, then they take a little bit of your health. But if it's like a minor enemy, it's not going to do as much damage. So an X4, X4, of course, enemies hit you. They don't hurt you as bad. They hurt you, but not as bad. Same thing with X5 and X6, X7 and X8. But X7 and X8, I'm not a big fan. I don't like those games very much. Um... Especially in X7, you can't play as Mega Man X right off the bat. You play as freaking Axel, but, pff, you know, whatever. In X8, I'm not a big fan. Everybody loves that game, but I'm just not a big fan. You know, it's not my cup of tea. But the first six, well, Mega Man X6 has its issues in itself, like uh, the freaking battle with Gates. It's pretty, it's pretty freaking annoying. And, of course, you get the... Um, you know, just the night, the nightmare mother, and then you have to fight other, you know, high max and freaking, uh, just all the enemies in the game are not that easy to combat. 
they're, they're, they're not that easy to combat in X6, but thankfully, with Rookie Hunter mode, the, the game is a hell of a lot easier. So, um, but thankfully, this collection is, you know, a lot amazing. It's a lot more amazing. And thankfully, there's a difficulty selection, and you get it, you know, to view all kinds of good shit, and you get to hear the music of each game. You know, this game offers a lot. So, I paid, uh, for this collection, I paid $16 for the X collection for PS2. Now, my, my, my good old buddy Brian, he said that the X collection on the GameCube is really expensive. It's like 50 bucks or something like that. 30 or 40 or 50 bucks. That's ridiculously expensive, you know. <laughs> but, um... This is a good collection, but if you want to pick one, if you if, if you were to buy one, I'd recommend you pick this one up. It's uh, plus a, it's a two disc set. You get you know Mega Man X one through X four on the first disc, and then you get X five through X eight on the second. So you know th this collection offers a lot, and again you know just make sure to you know if you're having trouble with these games, make sure to turn on Rookie Hunter mode. I can beat the first three X games without Rookie Hunter mode. X4 is kind of hard, especially the fucking Sigma battle. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but anyway, um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been, I know it's been, a, it's been a bit of a while. It's been a minute since I made a video. So again, I want to thank you all for watching this channel. Thank you for watching the videos. And um, again, as I always say, no haters allowed. Make sure to be respectful in the comments. And yeah, just make sure to you know, just let's let's just be let's just be respectful in the comments, guys. Let's not start ranting or whatever, you know, or whatever, just because you don't like the videos or whatever. But um, just thank you so much for watching the video, and God bless you, every single one of you. Much love to every one of you, and take care and stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Hope you like this video. Let me know what your favorite Mega Man X game is. Do you like the first three X games? Do you like X4? Do you like X5? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite X game. And once again, shout out to BrianX64. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. God bless. Much love. And see you next time. Adios, amigos.